All right, welcome everybody. I'm so glad to see all of you here for our spring 2021 commencement ceremony. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start off our um, program and I will turn it over to our interim president, David Ellis. Hello everyone. Welcome to Pacific Northwest College of Arts 2021 spring commencement. We're so glad to have you all here. First, uh, we acknowledge that the land where PNCA is located rests on the traditional village sites of the Multnomah, Kathlamet, Clackamas, Tualatin, Kalapuya, and Malala bands of the Chinook and many other tribes who made their homes <clears throat> along the Columbia River. We also acknowledge the systemic policies of genocide, relocation, and assimilation that still impact many indigenous Native American families today. As settlers and as guests on these lands, we respect the work of Native nations, leaders, and families, and we make ongoing efforts to center indigenous knowledge, creativity, resilience, and resistance. To start things off, I'm honored to introduce the chair of our Board of Governors, Scott B. Moosh, with some wor words of welcome. Good afternoon. Uh, can you see me? Okay. Yeah. Good afternoon. Um, uh, on behalf of the Board of Governors, uh, faculty, administration, and staff, I am delighted to welcome you to the 2021 Pacific Northwest College of Art commencement. I want to extend a special welcome to parents, family, and friends who are viewing online today to support our graduates. Uh, as President David Ellis mentioned, I serve as the board chair of the Board of Governors. We are a group of 24 business and community leaders, alumni, faculty, students, and friends of the college who are responsible for ensuring the quality and success of PNCA now and into the future. I am personally honored to help lead PNCA as our future looks especially bright. With the upcoming merger, PNCA will continue its leadership in arts and design education as an independent college within Willamette University. And this union will deepen connection of art and design to liberal arts and sciences, establishing a catalyst for new thought and expression for faculty and students in critical subjects such as climate change, racial and social justice and health. And of course, PNCA's brightness especially shines today as we honor our graduating class. Congratulations to you for your hard work and commitment. I want to especially recognize this is an incredible accomplishment you have made. You persevered through the coronavirus pandemic with the uncertainty the financial hardships on you and your family, the heightened anxiety and stress. It is difficult to fully appreciate the challenges this presented you, and you succeeded and are here today to receive your degrees. I personally extend my heartfelt respect and congratulations. You know, today is an important time to be a graduate of an education in the arts. Every day we are inundated with data social media feeds, tweets, more and more content, views, opinions, and so on. And yet we are starved in our lives and professions for real meaning and connection. Today, most of all, I believe our society needs to place value on one human ability that must be fostered, empathy. And art can have a central role here. Creating and experiencing art allows us to participate in a collaboration that can connect us to each other at a profound level. We can learn the pain, the dreams, the regrets, and the perceptions of people who have unique experiences, histories, beliefs, and social values. This potential knowledge can unite understanding and empathy and a realization of our common humanity we share. Art has the power to connect us to one another. It always has. Today, we have both greater urgency 
and greater opportunity to connect to each other and to work together to build a more compassionate world. So to repeat, today is an important time to be a graduate of an education in arts. You have an incredible opportunity ahead to use your education to help ignite greater understanding and empathy among us. As PNCA graduates, I look forward to seeing how you grab this opportunity. Our collective future looks bright. And so on behalf of the Board of Governors, let us give our combined best wishes to our graduates for their journey ahead. Welcome to all, and let us celebrate our graduates today. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. All right. I'm now going to introduce our undergraduate student speaker. Oh, oh, excuse me, um, Jackson. Yes, David. I wasn't quite through. So let me, um, let me just say a few words and then. My apologies. Uh, yeah, no, no, no worries. You know, folks, this is awkward having us all in these little boxes. And I will also apologize for the fact that because I want to make sure I include uh, everything I've thought about, there'll be a few sidelong glances while I look at my notes here. So uh, I haven't quite figured out how to have a podium over my computer screen so that it uh, is more seamless. I wanna recognize the family and friends present today for all of the love and support that they have provided to our students and trusting them to the incredible faculty and staff at PNCA. Thank you to our Board of Governors for steering the PNCA ship to this moment in time, to a safe harbor, poised to merge with Willamette University as we enter into a dynamic new chapter in PNCA's evolution. To our truly amazing faculty, thank you for weathering this strange, unprecedented year, the, dev the de devotion and all of your talents and energy to deliver your teaching in new and remote ways. Thank you to a terrific staff who showed up remotely for many, but in person for quite a few, to work every day and for helping to maintain a high quality student experience. And in particular, I wanna thank Jackson Seemeyer and Catherine McAnally and the entire student life staff for pulling this commencement together so well. Finally, you students gathered here today in celebration of your achievements. The commitment and creativity you have demonstrated in getting to this day is remarkable. And we look forward to your future involvement as alumni of PNCA and soon to be alumni of the broader Willamette family. Some of you know, but many of you don't. I've only been with the college since last September, but I've learned that this college is a place where hope and love and creativity live. Even during this most unusual year, you, our inspirational student art artists and designers have taught me that the lens through which you view the world is focused on many things beyond just the aesthetic. Just as the painter designs a focal point, to bring us into their work. Your creativity invites us to focus on your translation of the human experience. Through your eyes and talented expressions, you communicate at a different level, engaging us in multiple dimensions and with all of our senses. You make us laugh, cry, and feel the entire range of human emotions. In the words of Oakland curator Ashara Ekundayo, artists are the first responders, essential workers in cultural change. You are not bystanders. So we encourage you to go out and translate for us, create, be serious, but not too serious. Make us cry and laugh, seek joy, love, and live. And of course, remember us. Remember your faculty, your colleagues and friends, and the loyal staff here at PNCA, as we love and remember you with joy. Thank you, Jackson. Thank you, David. All right, I would now like to introduce our undergraduate student speaker, Noah Beckham.
Nella Beckham is a non-binary interdisciplinary African-American artist who resides currently in Portland, Oregon. Beckham creates by painting, performance work, curating objects, digital collages, and writing. This emerging artist practices recycling, reusing, and renewing material and documentation as a way to create a hybrid experience that is accessible both digitally and physically. This practice is evolving into a process that allows the artist to deconstruct, reconstruct, and reintroduce an idea. The material performs as a door to engage with the work welcome. Everybody present, please welcome Noah Beckham. Thank you, Jackson. PNCA, how do you do? My peers, we have finished this long ride. Now what will you do? We receive our degrees. Now who will you seek? Will you stay in the grassy shade where tree roots run deep? Or will you climb to the tip of Mount Hood's peak? Where will you go? Well, wherever you go and whoever you may see, I hope you see the world a bit more critically. Let us take the trials and tribulations up to this point to harden our skins, but never our hearts. Like a heartbeat, PNCA, you have saved me. As a collective, you've allowed me to remain passionate, suspicious, and imaginative. And you, artist, are potent, impressionable, and valuable. With or without your degree, you are powerful. Let that power not go to waste. Through objects, images, and text, we shape our worldview just to make life a bit more palatable for people like me and you. Between you and me, our arms are so large. We have room to include anyone outside of art. We all share this experience of living, just as we did with those no longer breathing. It is within our power to create for them and for our future kin. I will not ask you to create work for Kendra Shanice Reed, E.J. Bradford, Jamel Floyd, Stanley Gracious, Gloria Bambo, Tiffany Harris, Brian Powers, Bree Block, Aja Raquel, Shukri Abdi, Dominique Fells, T.T. Gully, Nakia Crawford, John Crawford III, Robert Fuller, Tony McDade, George Four, and or Brianna Taylor. But there is work to do work only we sloths can do. Activist Leah Watson said it best, if you come here to help, you're wasting your time. But if you have come because your liberation is bound with mine, then let us work together. As individuals, let's, let us receive this degree together, rest together, and celebrate together. Let us brag to our students and to our grandkids that our small victory is ontologically large, that we had to face against bigger and badder things to make it where we are. Thank you. Thank you so much, Noah. I would now like to introduce to us our graduate student speaker, Edson Roses. Edson Roses is a 25-year-old queer Mexican-American artist that works primarily within the printmaking processes, soft sculpture, haiku, and some performance. His work lives within the realm of modernity, joy, self-reflection, loneliness, and his love for vibrant colors and soft objects. To do a quick summary of what his practice is about in his own words, imagine prints, soft sculpture, and haiku that can bring you care and comfort emotionally and physically during a time when we can't do that with others in person. During his time here at PNCA, he's been involved with Graduate Council, the BIPOC Student Collective, Watershed Center for Fine Art Publishing and Research, Dia de Muertos PDX, and has been a welcoming friend to the print media cohort. I'd like to introduce now Edson Rosas. Hi, everyone. Um, <clears throat> let me start off with reading some haiku. 
We are here sharing a space together, but not. Zoom graduation. Sharing a moment that we will never forget, a big step forward. Okay. If I cry, just know I get very emotional a lot. Lately, I've had to speak for longer than two minutes and that's something I'm not good at. I'm more of a listener in a conversation or rather, I'm not the greatest at holding good conversations. I write haiku all the time because it's short and gets to the point. So my apologies if my words don't bring you to tears or if my words don't hold some deep meaning to life that you can take with you on your journey, but I'll do my best. <clears throat> I want to start out with giving a quick thanks to those who have helped me these past few years here at PNCA. I would say all their names, but that would probably be longer than the allotted five minutes I have. So to sum it up, I want to thank my mentors, Paul Marin, Gordon, Travis, Y'all have really helped me gain the confidence I have now. The print media cohort for creating and fostering a sense of community, even if that was through screens at times. The print department <clears throat> and anyone else that has been there for me emotionally. I want to also take the time to thank my own mother. She walked from Mexico all the way to the United States and searched for a better life for herself and for her kids. I'm living proof that her efforts were not for nothing. When I think of the cheesy saying, the American dream, I think back to our old red car with rust all over sitting underneath the golden arches of McDonald's. My mother, single at the time, bought a small McDonald's fry for my older sister, my younger brother and I to share. We didn't have much, but we were happy together. Those golden arches in some weird and profound way were lighting the path to our futures. After that, she spent several years apart from her kids while she had to return to Mexico in order to become a legal resident, which she is now, and has endured so much more. She's an amazing and strong woman. I love you, Ma. I don't want to make this solely about my own thanks. So take this brief moment to send a text, shoot a message, or if you're able to do it in person, give thanks, celebrate, or do both with your own special families, your chosen families, your friends, communities, whoever has helped you along your journey to where you are now. And if you don't want to do any of that, that's okay too. Use this opportunity to look away from the screen Stretch, relax your shoulders, let it sink in that we've made it this far. While you're taking this brief moment to do that, let me read you some more haiku. This is not your peak, it is just the beginning, a big step forward. Your step may be soft and weary or stomped firmly, just know both are great. Whatever comes next, remember those you have met, always there to help. A community to help you find solid ground to move forward on. Whatever comes next, remember to be yourself, authentic and true. And if you forget who you are, that's okay. Find some solid ground, some solid ground to help you regain your passion, a big step forward. You have worked so hard and that does not go unnoticed. Congratulations. For now, remember it's okay to take a break and breathe. Don't let the idea of staying productive take over your life. If you need to take a day off from work or from life, just do it. Put on your most comfortable clothes, do things that bring you joy, drink some water, dance in your home, draw, do whatever the heck brings you peace. I don't know about y'all, but I've definitely had days where I've cried in the shower, but you know what? Right after I began dancing and singing my heart out. So please take care of yourself and others. I'm sending so much love your way and congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you so much, Edson. All right, now I would like to introduce for some student awards, Martin French and Emily Ginsberg. And you'll see the student awards on screen as Martin and Emily announce the winners. Great, thank you, Jackson. Um, I'm really pleased to announce the following BFA department awards and for Intermedia, Jackson Smith, for General Fine Arts, Cameron Matlock and Tristan Matlock, for Photography, Tan Wu, for Printmaking, Eli Brooke, Emma Ryder and Anna Peterson, for Sculpture, Liz Taylor, and for Video and Sound, Gray Roberts.
And for animated arts, Cameron Schneider. For graphic design, Oscar Radon Kimball. For illustration, Sarah McCandless. For liberal arts, Oscar Radon Kimball. For painting and drawing, Olivia Harwood, Emma Harris, and Noah Beckham. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Martin and Emily. I'm now gonna introduce to uh, go over the undergraduate thesis awards and the graduate awards, Linda Cleaver for the thesis awards and MK Guth for the graduate awards. Thank you, Jackson. It's my honor to read these awards. Um, BFA thesis writing awards, there are two different awards. The first one is for the thesis paper and that's Oscar Radon Kimball. The second is for thesis writing for orals for the presentations, Noah Beckham and Jens Peterson. And for the thesis awards, this is for the actual thesis work. Uh, the first award is the William H. Givler Thesis Award in Design Arts for Oscar Radon Kimball. The second award is the William H. Givler Thesis Award in Fine Arts for Noah Beckham. And the um, primary award for thesis, the Abraham and Anna C. Hellman Thesis Award goes to Charlene Prosser. Congratulations to all of you. It was an amazing group. You all did beautifully, thank you. For collaborative design, the thesis award goes to S.J. Bowden. For visual studies, it goes to Ashley Couch. For critical studies, it goes to Madison Haynes. For print media, it goes to Edson Rosas. For design systems, it goes to Humera Taznin. For applied craft and design, it goes to Eli West. For the thesis writing awards, for collaborative design and design systems, it goes to Samantha Carruthers Knight. For applied craft and design, it goes to Ode Sing Lee Prashant Siti. For critical studies, it goes to Carly Naughton. For visual studies, it goes to Sarah Reber. For print media, it goes to Edson Rosas. So in this year like no other, I want to honor everyone who has come together as the PNCA community. Students, I honor your resilience and creative accomplishments in spite of so many deep challenges. Faculty and staff, I honor your hard work and deep commitment to PNCA students. I also wanted to take a moment to acknowledge two specific people who've done extraordinary things for PNCA. So first, on behalf of PNCA's faculty, I'm delighted to award the very first special award in recognition of extraordinary service to the college. This distinction is only given when the recipient is deemed exceptionally worthy. And today, we are just so fortunate to have that person in our midst. Today's very first award winner has been pivotal in PNC's success this year and for the future. In the very short time he's been part of this community, this person has proven his dedication to PNC's mission and to the current and future thriving of the students, faculty, and staff. He always has PNTA's best interests on the forefront of his mind, and he's led our school with kindness, ethics, empathy, insight, vision, and gratitude. He has helped PNCA move into the next phase with grace, stability, and deep enthusiasm for the future. Today's very first recipient of this special award is PNCA's president, David Ellis. Thank you so much, David. And next, it is my deep honor to present faculty emeritus status on a PNC professor and visionary leader. I bestow this award on behalf of PNCA's faculty with support from the president and board of governors. This faculty honor recognizes significant service rendered to the college in teaching, research, institutional service or professional accomplishment. And this person, as you will see, shines in all areas. 
The recipient of this honor has served PNCA in countless ways for many years. She's inspired so many students, faculty, and staff at PNCA, always pushing us to be our very best. She celebrates our triumphs. She challenges us to achieve things that we never dreamed possible, and she works tirelessly to help us reach our goals. This new faculty emerita has shown adaptability, determination, and grace under pressure, and a longstanding commitment to PNCA. All the while, she maintains a thriving creative practice. She is truly an example for us all. This new faculty emerita launched PNCA's first MFA program many years ago and currently serves as the founding director of PNCA's Halley Ford School of Graduate Studies. Over the years, she has served as chair of several graduate programs at PNCA. She's a strategic advocate for PNCA alumni as well, curating them into exhibitions, recommending them for professional opportunities and maintaining lifelong connections. She has served as faculty representative to PNCA's Board of Governors, and she actively engages in institutional service of all sorts, for example, through many significant fundraising efforts such as Pain in the Glass. She's a vocal advocate for PNCA within local, regional, and national circles, and is passionately committed to its ongoing success. It is my deep honor and pleasure to award the status of Faculty Emerita to M.K. Guth. Thank you so much, M.K. Thank you to all of our faculty for announcing those awards and honors. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to David now um, to, uh, um, for the presentation of our honorary degrees. <clears throat> I have to... <clears throat> gather myself a little bit. That was a surprise. Um, and I'm so honored, but I'm really honored to start out our honorary degrees with Dr. Leslie Ann Noel. Dr. Noel, from your childhood home in Trinidad, Tobago, you have traveled far to your current future home in North Carolina and your place among the cultural leaders in the world of design. You have shared with me that you first recognized your interest in design when asked to design a dinner place card in sixth grade. A later high school project had Christopher Columbus falling off the edge of a flat earth in a pop-up book designed by you. A mother to an adored son, Azure. You are a baker, a curry maker, a traveler, and a sculptor for whom a dream day includes spending time with Azure and at least one of the things I just mentioned. So now it is my great honor, pursuant to the priv privilege vested in me by the state of Oregon and the Board of Governors of the Pacific Northwest College of Art, and upon the recommendation of the faculty to bestow upon you the degree of Doctorate of Arts honoris causa with all of the rights, duties, and privileges thereto appertaining. We will be hearing from Dr. Noel in just a few minutes. You look beautiful, thank you. So we have a second honorary degree today. And I'm really honored to say a few words first about Scott B. Moosh, the chair of our Board of Governors. The fact of the matter is, and this cannot be overstated, we all owe Scott a great deal of gratitude for being here today on the cusp of a transformational merger with Willamette University. <clears throat> Growing up in a rural Pennsylvania town, the arts provided outlets of expression for Scott, a refuge between a conservative upbringing and the thoughts and feelings a young man was learning to express. Later, after college, Scott moved to New York City and started visiting galleries. And soon thereafter, 
started collecting. An early interest in surrealism migrated to Pacific Northwest artists after moving to Portland after 20 years in the Big Apple. His growing collection included works by many PNCA alums. And so after meeting Mac McFarland uh, in 2016, it was a natural that Scott's commitment to service led him to joining the PNCA board in 2018. With dual degrees from University of Pennsylvania in finance and economics and a master's in business administration from Dartmouth, uh, it is our great honor to now add to that collection. So now, pursuant to the priv privilege vested in me by the state of Oregon and the Board of Governors of Pacific Northwest College of Art, and upon the recommendations of the faculty, to, to bestow upon you effective upon the closing of the merger between PNCA and Willamette University, which would not have happened without you, the degree of Doctorate of Arts honoris causa with all of the rights, duties, and privileges thereto appertaining. Thank you. I wanna express my uh, deepest gratitude to the college, to the faculty, Senate, uh, and to the board. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. And so now it's my great pleasure to say a few more words about Dr. Noel uh, before uh, we have her uh, present the commencement address. Dr. Leslie Ann Noel has honored us before at PNCA by speaking in last year's Halley Ford School of Graduate Studies lecture series, where she was a hit. We're so pleased that she accepted our invitation this time, an invitation extended by way of a unanimous endorsement from our faculty. Raised in Trinidad, Tobago, Dr. Noel has degrees in industrial design from the University, Universidad Federal do Paraná in Brazil, a master's degree in business administration from the University of the West Indies in Trinidad and Tobago, and her PhD in design from North Carolina State University, where she is returning this fall as assistant professor, design studies, and director of undergraduate programs, design studies. Formerly the associate director for design thinking and social impact and professor of practice at the Taylor Center for Social Innovation and Design Thinking at Tulane University. Dr. Noel is also the creator of the designer's critical alphabet. Dedicated to making design education more relevant to underrepresented audiences, Dr. Noel's research and practice is guided by an emancipatory philosophy. She focuses on developing design curriculum for non-traditional audiences and promoting the work of designers outside of Europe and North America. It gives me great pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker, Dr. Leslie Ann Noel. Thank you so much, David. Um, it is really an honor to sit here in front of you, um, the class of 2021 and everyone at PNCA. And so thank you to the PNC community for, um, for this honor. 2020 to 2021 feels like the longest period in history. And like so many people, I think that I probably did more work in the last two years than I've done in my entire professional life. You know, over the last um, many months, I've given countless lectures, workshops, and podcasts where I've encouraged designers and design students to build their critical literacy and awareness of social justice issues, like the isms and oppressive forces that hold so many of us back. And I've also asked them to um, consider uh, taking on transformative goals in their work to design out these oppressions and to work towards equity. So I am honored and grateful that people within your community see and recognize this work. We wear many hats in art and design. And so today, actually, instead of wearing a doctoral hood, I've put on a different hat. 
And this is a chef's hat. And why it's a chef's hat will become a little bit more evident throughout the conversation. So I'm gonna start sharing uh, a bit of my screen here. Let's see. All right. So I am going to ask you while I, okay, yes, I'm gonna ask you first to think about um, what can you make with flour, water, and one or two extra ingredients? Will you add yeast? Will you add eggs? Will you add uh, baking powder or something else? What are you gonna make with these things? I'm asking everyone, especially the members of the graduating class. Would you make bread, naan, tortillas, pancakes? Would you make modeling clay? Would you make glue? Samin Nosrat's book, Salt, Fat, Acid, Heat, opens with a sentence, anyone can cook and make it delicious. And I'm a product designer and design educator, and I've been this for over 20 years. And that's how I feel about design, that everyone can design and make art and make it delicious, especially if you learn some key ingredients and you add some special ones of your own. So I like to talk about design by using the metaphor of food and cooking, um, particularly when talking with people who don't consider themselves designers or creatives. And in particular, I like, like to talk to, um, as David mentioned, I like to talk about making bread and making curry. Um, since these are familiar to everyone um, in many different countries around the world. And I do this to make some of the theories and ideas that can seem abstract, less strange and less alien. So sometimes when we teach about design, it can seem like we are thinking of, we're talking about that thing from California or that thing from Germany. But how do we bring these concepts closer to people's reality? And so for me, cooking is one way. You know, we while we learn recipes as we're cooking, you know, um, as you're doing design, maybe you learn recipes. But it's also important for us to understand the ingredients that go into good work. You know, what do you have in your pantry? What are people allergic to? Can you change the recipe quickly based on this? Add ginger, take out coconut milk, add cumin if we're talking about curry. So what are the ingredients that designers and design thinkers, um, including our current graduates and future, current and future students, what are the ingredients that, that they need to produce great design work or create cre creative work and to be able to use these ingredients in the many iterations of their career that they will go through over maybe 40 years of professional path. These are some of the ingredients. And so when I asked you what you would do with flour and water, what you actually chose to make uh, may reflect who you are. Some people might make bread, pizza, pancakes, naan, tortillas, pasta, glue. We add a bit of ourselves to the things that we make and our identities show up in the finished works of art and design. When we are learning to cook, we may start off with the recipe, but as we get more comfortable with these recipes, um, we, for some foods eventually we just improvise and we no longer need this recipe. And so we got many recipes in our education and you may have learned several recipes during your time at PNCA. Uh, you may have learned to do things step by step. And you may have followed these processes faithfully, maybe to get the right grades. But all of you now can, think, can know that even though you receive the same recipes and ingredients throughout the, um, your education, you can add your authentic selves to the ingredients and recipes that you got to make wonderful lives and practice as artists and designers. And so today on graduation day, you can be comfortable in knowing that you have learned these recipes, you can experiment with the ingredients and processes, you can get more comfortable in the kitchen. And in your post-graduation lives, you can try out new ingredients. And when you have a good understanding of the ingredients and processes, you can actually throw away these, the old recipes and write new recipes that reflect you. And what's important in your new recipes depend on you and your personality, your identity. Who are you? Where were you born? What is your gender identity? What is your ethnicity? What are the issues that are important to, to you? The focus will change as you age and change 
change throughout your life. And these new recipes may be about how you do research, how you use materials, how you use tools, how you identify your themes of focus, how you collaborate with others, uh, how you address and choose social justice issues, how you get your word out, you know, what personal ingredients will you add to the recipes as you work. So here are a few ingredients um, that are important in my recipes, and I'm just sharing this, and maybe they'll be interesting in some of your recipes. The first pantry item is hope and dreams for, the utop for utopia. You know, one of our superpowers as artists and designers is our ability to really see and imagine what does not yet exist. So you reimagine the world and create new beginnings. So use that ability to create hope where others find none. Dream of new and different worlds, free of problems and constraints of today, and then play an active role in making these dreams and worlds real. Another item in our pantry, critical consciousness, an in-depth understanding of the world that allows for the perception and exposure of social and political contradictions. And this awareness will prompt you to take action against oppressive elements in your life and in the lives of others. Sprinkle liberally with critical questions. Ask why. Don't accept the status quo. These questions might annoy some people, but your critical questions will help everyone move towards a better world. Add a dash of anger or rage to some of what you do. Use that anger again to challenge the status quo and to help all of us see some of the oppression that is normalized. Challenge us all to do better. Channel your anger into making good work and again, making the world a better place. But balance that anger with joy. Find joy in what you do. Discover what brings joy to other people. Design ways of moving out of your anger into spaces of joy and thriving. Explore alternative framing to the issues that you want to focus on. Remember that joy, happiness, and positivity are legitimate frames for your art and design work. As others have said before me, your joy is an act of resistance and can also be a protest. Choose to design a joy-filled and satisfying life. Like-minded souls and dissenting voices, make space for other people in your professional and personal lives. Both like-minded souls and dissenting voices are needed for success. Build communities around you of like-minded souls who will become your tribe, your support, your mentors, and the people who will carry you through when times are hard. When you have moments of self-doubt, imposter syndrome, reach out to your tribe and check the validity of your work and remember that you are important. Your like-minded souls may be your classmates, they may come from your wider PNCA network, they may be your childhood friends, they may be colleagues from professional organizations, they are important to your success and well-being. Similarly, you actually do need some dissenting voices to help keep you accountable and, on, um, and honest. These dissenting voices will help you deepen your work and they will make you do more research. They will make your work and how you defend it much more multidimensional. So make good use of all of these voices in your work, both the people who will agree with you and disagree with you. And you, you are the most important ingredient in whatever you do. Discover who you are, understand the complexity of your own ideas, reflect on what is your point of view, how is it similar or different to that of others? Bring your true self to all of your work. Make your own spaces when you are being excluded or not represented so that you and your point of view are not invisibilized. We need you. Be unapologetically you. Add yourself as a key ingredient in everything that you do. So here are some closing words about cooking and creative confidence. I used to have a bread making machine and I would throw all of the ingredients into the machine overnight and in the morning, magically, I would have bread. Well, I've moved about 15 times in my life and on one of these moves, moves I had to give up the bread maker and my cookbooks, but we still had to eat bread. And so for an entire year, I spent 
um, this time just experimenting with throwing various ingredients into a bowl, bread, yeast, oil, water. I didn't measure anything because I had no tools and I wasn't going to buy any new ones. I was just guessing. Well, what did I learn over that year? Some of my experiments were better than others. And actually all of them actually tasted pretty good. You know, once the bread was hot and we had butter or jam, we would eat it and we would enjoy it. And if it didn't come out so great, well, it was okay. I just make another one on the following day or two. So think about your life and your work like that. Try something out. If it isn't perfect, it's okay. You can adapt the recipe and try again, but just take creative risks. A note to the PNCA, um, to the faculty and staff of PNCA, PNCA, thank you for everything that you've done to support these graduates. Throughout your support and guidance, through your support and guidance, they made it here. While they may not recognize all of your efforts today, over the years, with time and space, they may look back at their experiences and be able to bridge their work and how they have helped make them who they are. So your recipes have helped these graduates grow as artists, designers, illustrators, and other creative people. A note to the parents, guardians, family members, members, friends, all of the people in the support network of the class of 2021. Thank you for supporting them through their work. It has paid off. Welcome your new chefs. They'll be fine. They won't burn down the house unless that's in the plan. So congratulations to you as the support network, um, as you can proudly see the results of your support. And to the graduating class of 2021, go boldly and confidently into the world. We don't understand yet all of the new and exciting work that you can or will create. Go off and create paths and works that we never dreamt of. Go off and be the best chefs, experiment with new ingredients, combine ingredients in exciting new ways, create new recipes and new worlds. Let us all honor the MFA graduates. Of course, I can't call everybody else, everybody's name, but we, are thank, we um, congratulate you all. And then let us all honor the BFA graduates. Um, many, many students, we have them on two slides. So congratulations to you all. You did it. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Noel, for your words. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over now to our interim president, David Ellis, uh, for our presentation of our graduates. Thanks, Jackson. And thank you so much, Dr. Noel. You were making me hungry there. Um, dear students, what a year, huh? You've, you finished strong, but it was a tough one. And now it's time for me uh, to award you with the degrees that are evidence of your hard work. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Pacific Northwest College of Art and by the state of Oregon and upon the recommendation of the faculty, it is my great pleasure to confer upon you the degree as applicable of Bachelor of Fine Arts, Master of Arts, Critical Studies, Design Systems, or Master of Fine Arts, Applied Craft, and excuse me, Applied Craft and Design, Collaborative Design, Print Media, Visual Studies, and Creative Writing. With all of the rights, duties, and privileges thereto appertaining. You did it. We have a video prepared that we will play now um, to simulate as best as we can you walking across the stage. Jeffrey S. Aldrich. Sydney Carter Lopez, Kara Cassidy Hall, 
Lindsay Halliday. Sam Hicks. Nicole Kuzma. Paul Musial. Laura Allison Nash. Ode Lessing. Alex Slidell. Eli Taylor West. Carolina T.S. Woodcock. S.J. Bowden. Samantha Carruthers Knight. Jacob Crayon. Elizabeth Ann Lance. Jono Malamed. Humera Tazneem. Summer Vladek Kiner. Edson Roses. Krista Sibbeth. Kyle Comia. Ashley Holland Couch. Kristen Derryberry. Effie Garside Mitchell. Madison Haynes. Alexandra Hebler. Justin Robert Lizick. Laura Allison Nash. Carly Naughton. Elizabeth Simmons. Ashley Holland Couch. Kristen Derryberry. Tyler James Goodwin. Carly Naughton. Sarah Reber. Katie Spain. Christian R. Bengal. Leanne Vincent Bigelow. Rosanna Cruz. Jenna Eakin. Casey Hamill. Corinne Pareño. Cameron Angelina Schneider. Jacob Silberger Franek. Frey Sores. Kazi Stark. James Hesse. Kiana Michelle Lamberton. Cameron Matlock. Tristan Matlock. Jens Peterson. Susanna Bradlin Beckett. Damien Dawahair. 
Oscar Radon Kimball, Riley Rohrabacher, Jason Scheuermann, Rachel Bondeson, Samantha Buttrick, Faith Capalia, Zan Drake, Kristen Driggers, Britt J. Fossil. Emily Ferguson, Zoe Gear, Chloe Grieve, Beth L. P. L. Jensen, Delia Kerr Denhart, Julia Eileen Marie Marshall. Sarah McCandless, Jasmine K. Monks, Taylor Ann Nicholson, Abigail Pearl, Carly Francesca Ryan, Nicole Segal. Braden Sherrill, Olivia Stevens, Sierra Ross Joy Stevens, Olivia Marisol Sua, Gabriella Watson, Alexandra White. Jada Williams, Yu Zong, Chloe Zock, Marina Dwar Fraco, Lena Lewis. Caitlin Petrick, Jackson Mills Smith, Linnea Ishida Stahura, Cheryl Zhang, Stevie Laverne Bigger. Yasmin Amalia Correa. Devin C. Kimberly, Kimberly Elwood. Elwood. Emma Harris. Olivia Faith Harwood. Eel Howell. Jeffrey Lippincott. Shane Ragland. Connor Bunting. Ryan Cade. Calum Gay. Scott. King Tan Vu Callie Walner Eli Brook Anna Kathleen Peterson Emma Ryder.
Brenna Butt. Maisie Moon. Charlene R. Prosser. Lindsay Rhodes. Elizabeth Taylor. Brian Zweber. John Cram Roberts. Thank you so much and congratulations to all of our graduates. Um, I'm now going to turn it over to N.K. Guth, the director of the Halley Ford School of Graduate Studies uh, to lead our graduate students in the traditional hooding process that happens during uh, commencement. Hello everybody. It is such a great privilege to be here to celebrate the completion of your graduate degree. It is a momentous achievement because it, dem it demands such hard work, such rigor, and such dedication. So to mark this moment and to celebrate, I'm going to demonstrate how to wear your academic hood. So you've all received this in the mail. You'll see that it has a long tail, a back up, and you're going to hold the velvet side up with the pointy part here um, with the string, which is going, which we're gonna put together over our head. So corner pointing down. And this should be the frontal view of your academic hood. Since we're on Zoom, that's what we're gonna focus on. This little string that's down here can go in and hook to a button on your shirt or inside of your robe. And if um, you decide that you also wanna focus on the back, there is on the back of your hood, so once it's um, put on in the back of the hood, there is also another tie that can, from that tie down, you want to bend open the shiny satin aspect and hook that so it, um, so it connects in the back. This is, how, uh, this is how you wear an academic hood. And congratulations, graduates. Thank you so much, MK. All right, now we are going to go ahead and we are gonna start switching everybody from an attendee to a panelist. You may have noticed that none of you can see each other, um, but we will go ahead and fix that for you now. We will be promoting all of you to panelists. Um, please leave yourself muted just for the time being so that David can give some nice words of conclusion. But after that, it is all up to you to go as wild as you want, wishing congratulations. Um, and we'll go ahead and start that process now. Oh, I see some parties happening. So <clears throat> in closing, I want to again thank uh, Jackson and Kat for their hard work on this program and everybody else who was involved. Thank you, Weston and Tierra, behind the scenes, keeping us technologically uh, running here. And thank everybody for being here for this celebration of the creative talent, commitment, and spirit 
of our former students and current alumni. <clears throat> to the class of 2021, uh, congratulations. Stay in touch. We love you uh, and we need you. We need your help to keep us current and on task. So do the best things that you can imagine. Uh, mix up the ingredients like Dr. Noel said. Change is good. And I know that each and every one of you will make an impact in your lives. And we're gonna be watching your faculty, the staff here at PNCA and the friends that you've made uh, have entrusted me to launch you with love and peace. Thanks. Woohoo! Jason, Jason, Jason. Where to go, Kim? <laughs> Eli. Eli. <laughs> Eli Brooks. Yeah. Congrats. Okay. Oh, should I leave? Oh, okay. <laughs> Something happened. Just put it back on mute. <laughs> Oh, I do. Look amazing, Leanne. Woo! <laughs> oh. All right, Hillary, so now I'm going to. Yay! 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 Woo! I see you, but you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Olivia! Oh, Olivia! Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations, you guys. Beautiful. Friday. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Woohoo! Go, Woo Christian Dingle! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. There we go. Congratulations, Eli Brick. Hello. Yeah. Answer <laughs> great John. Congratulations. We're so proud. Congratulations, Eli. I know you're Eli and everybody there. Love you, sweetie. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jada Williams. Baby girl, Kiana, I love you so much. Congratulations, Ashley Couch. <laughs> Congratulations, Robert! Hey, <laughs> Congratulations, Katie Spain. Congrats, Congrats Edson. Congrats, Edson. I love you. <laughs> That was cute. Hey! Congratulations, Shane Raglan. <laughs> Congratulations, Elizabeth. I'm 30. No, that's the same 30. It's two Eli's. Eli. Brooke. I'm going to be posting in the chat for our graduates some post ceremony meetings. Um, that your departments are having some little celebrations. So feel free to click on those. 
enjoying those celebrations as I post them in the chat. Woohoo! Go Ryan! <laughs> Congratulations, oh! Justin Lizick. Congratulations, Kim. Congratulations, Ross. Congratulations, Noah. Oh, dude, you can put a vert. Congratulations, my son Carly Schwartz. And Carly Nolan. Congratulations, everyone. Love you, Kim. Twinsies. Yeah. You guys. Congrats, Twinsies. Congratulations. Love you, Love you guys. I don't know. Well, we 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 nice job. Dr. Leslie and Noel. Congratulations, Carly Nothin. Christian Bengal Rocks. <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations Ross. Elizabeth. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Good job, man. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. You don't want to mute, do you? Yeah. Congratulations, Kim Elwood. Mute, I think. Congratulations, everyone. They can't hear us now. And, and yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go back up to where we're circled. Okay. Oh, you know what? TV? what do you want to do? I don't know. Just click on it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jersey oh, in the house. I got my picture right now. Yeah. Way to go, Ross. Okay. Congratulations. Well, Woohoo! Congratulations, Congratulations Summer. Oh, Nancy. Gary, almost. Oh my God. Can't get her. <laughs> really? Participants. Right. Uh -oh. What if you watch watching? Congratulations. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Thank you, PNCA. Thank you, PNCA. Congratulations, Kim. You did it. You did it. Kim yeah, I can. Oh. What? Would you hit that? We don't have a picture of that. Yeah. Hi, Eli. Yeah. It was a great program. I mean, we saw ourselves there for a while. I know. Yeah. We got all these choices. Uh, I think that was. Uh, yeah. All right. I don't mind. Get over here so you were paying attention. Hi, Jerry and Nancy. Aren't we proud of you? Hi. Hi. Hi, Barb and Joe. Hi, Barb and Joe. It's good to see you. Tony, guys. Cheryl, congratulations. Good to see you. Congratulations, yeah. Noah. Beautiful speech. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Much love to you all. Much love. It's Lena, amazing. congratulations. Where is it? Right here. Bottom. I love you all. And as Magorical. <laughs> it's a new day. Ryan Rock. It's a new dawn. <laughs> it's a new life. <laughs> there. They have to call Congratulations, Ryan. Set the world on fire. Yeah. Congratulations, y'all. I'm going to miss you. Love you. I'll miss you more. No. Doug, we love you so much. We literally would not do this without you. You're the we best. Love you, Doug. We love you, Doug. We love, so love you, Doug. Love Doug. Thank you. We love Doug. Love you, Pumpkin. Love you, Doug. So much. Oh, my heart is so full. I'm going to miss you so much, but I love you all. 
<laughs> Take care That's of yourselves. Okay. Thanks for making me proud. Doug, here's Maui. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Doug. Thank you. Oh, it's it's so 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 <laughs> Seriously. Woo! Congratulations, Congratulations, Anna! Anna! <laughs> <laughs> oh. As I always say, don't be strangers. Never. Good job, Where's everyone. Go, I gotta go, go before I tear up too much. Oh, oh. Doug. We'll meet you back here soon. We'll see you. Hi, Doug. We'll see you again. Yes, absolutely. Scott, your hair looks great. What? And Edson, incredible. Thank you so much. Want to leave? No, I want to see where you get on. Thank you, Lena. Thank you, Thank you, Noah. Yo, once we get out of this call, well, let's celebrate well. We need to. Yes. No, you're not there anymore. And thank you, Jackson, Kat. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you, V. Woo, v. Emily, everybody. Appreciate you guys all. Congrats, Lena. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great summer, everybody. Take care. Stay cool. I'll be here a little bit longer just posting those links in the chat in case anybody's missed them. So, mm. yeah. Beckham family, you could sign off. Call me later. If you want? See you around. Kim, this is Alan Noreen. Congratulations. We wish you much the best. Kim. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Congratulations, Kim. We miss you. Great job, yeah. Noah. Thank you, thank you. That was wonderful. I couldn't tell how nervous my hands were so sweaty. <laughs> you didn't show it. You did a great <laughs> job. Yeah, you did great. We should we should keep this uh, virtual, um, even when we're, we're like back in person in the coming years, like just to have as like documentation. You know, it's like very, it's useful. And access. Hi, Noah. Thanks for coming. Love you a lot. Is that your artwork? Behind. Behind you. Yes, it is. It very nice. I like it. Very nice. Thank you. Elizabeth, can you hear me? Hi, Elizabeth, we love you. I don't know where she went or what's going on. Nice uh, graduation count there, Casey. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that I made it so cool. She could yeah. see and hear us. Oh. <laughs> no, do not. Yeah. And it has a sloth. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Looking you know how you feel. That gown in person, Casey. That's amazing. That is amazing. That's right. Thank you. Oh, She was on here and she said, she texted me and said she was going to go join her um, group or whatever. I'm going to go join my department meeting. I'll talk to you soon. And she said, thanks, mom. I could see and hear you. I'm going to go join my department meeting. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I think we're gonna Everybody find somebody to hang out with. Yeah. Oh, need a department you meeting and find somebody else. You know, I did it. Congrats from here to you both. Great to see you. <laughs> Very nice ceremony, Casey. Very enjoyable seeing all your 
classmates and all the different talents that are graduating today. Good luck yeah, to yeah, all of them. Great. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Then, Thank you. I'm going to post the links to those meetings that we have um, in the chat one more time and give everybody a, a couple extra minutes for your final goodbyes. And then I think we're going to wrap up here. Um, if, you're, if your department is having a, a post ceremony meeting, I definitely encourage you to go, um, you know, say um, some nice things and, and have some more praise showered upon you. Uh, but I'll post those links that we have in the chat and we'll give it a couple minutes just for some final goodbyes here in this meeting. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Have a good one. See you. See you, Noah. <laughs> Bye. All right. I'm probably going to head out here in a second, too. But Jackson, Kat, thank you both for the last four years of helping me through a bunch of stuff through student life. I really needed that, and that was so helpful. Well, thank you, Christian. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations, Christian. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. It's been great. Jackson, Kat, everyone. It's been wonderful. Are you still Thank on? You so yeah. we'll miss My you. pleasure, Casey. Okay. And we need to put you in charge of gowns. Yes, that would be awesome. Oh my God, that'd be great. That's, that's how we get students to wear regalia is Casey designs them. I would totally, yes. wear, exactly. I would totally wear that. Yeah, I would be... Honestly, making personalized gowns for everyone, that would be awesome. <laughs> oh, tie-dye gowns would be amazing. I was going to think Rose, too, but I think she already headed out. Um, all right. You left. I'll catch y'all yeah. later. See you, Christian. See you. Bye, Bye y'all. I think we should be in touch about that, Casey. <laughs> I think we should. I think we should set something up. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk I soon, for do. sure. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, congratulations. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think we are probably good to wrap it up here in this meeting. Oh my God. Nice work, Jackson, Kat, Kat thank you. Thank Tara you Weston. So Y'all are great. Thank you, everyone. Special thank you to Tara and Weston. Like, this never would have happened without either. So. Okay. Let's see you all later. Thank you. Bye, y'all.